Hi YouTube, it's Amanda and I'm here today to do mermaid inspired eyes. Let's do a close up. Okay, here's a close up of the eye makeup look. It's got some greens and teals, pretty shimmery golden highlight, and then this gorgeous copper color on our inner tear duct. Kind of like that rusty color of things that have been corroded in the ocean for a long time. That was kind of my thought. But I just love this look. I absolutely am in love with it. And it's pretty easy to do. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing today. It's pretty easy, mostly using my 120 palette and an Inglot color. And you could probably find something else in your collection instead of that Inglot color if you can't get your hands on it. But it is a beautiful color for our inner corners. So you might want to check that out from Inglot Cosmetics. They are now available online. And as you all know, I love them so, so much. So keep watching to find out how we got this look. And I'm just going to warn you guys, it is laundry day at my house. So if you hear this like loud humming noise in the background, it's because the washing machine is literally directly behind my camera on the other side of the wall. So just to give you guys a little heads up, let's get started. Okay, so I already primed my eye using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, as usual, concentrating it on the lid and then blending it all the way up to my brow bone. Now I'm going to be going into my 120 palette taking this top light teal color. And I'm going to be using that with a pencil brush. This one is from Crown and it's number 431. And I'm going to be placing this on the inner portion of my lid. However, I'm not going to be going all the way into the inner corner because if you'll notice here, that's where I'm putting that really pretty copper color. So take it here and just blend it up a tiny bit so that we get that light gradient of the teals. Then I will be taking this color right here. It is the fourth, no, fifth down from that first teal color. And this is just a blue. And I'm going to be mixing it with this upper green here. So I'm going to be placing a little bit of the blue and then the green over it because we don't have quite the color I need. So placing the blue down first and that's just going to go on the rest of my lid. And the brush that I will be using for this is actually just a smudger, number 14, and this is from Sephora. It's one of my favorite brushes. Okay, you can see that's made more of like a greenish teal, turquoisey color, whatever you want to call it. And I just am going to kind of blend it into that lighter blue. And you may want to go back with the blue and mix it even more with the smudger if you feel the need to. But I think mine looks okay for now. I'm going to be placing my highlight now. And for that I'm going to use this color up here, which is just a shimmery kind of gold white color. And I'm going to be using that on a crown brush. This is number 153, and it's just a great little highlighter. All the way up to your brow. And then just kind of feathering it down a little. These colors, in particularly the lighter ones, are very soft, so you can get some fallout. Be careful with that. Then I'm going to go into the black, just the basic matte black. And I'm going to be doing that on a pencil-type brush. This is just another random one from Coastal Sense. The reason I'm using this is because it's black, and I don't want it to stain my white brush. And I'm going to be putting this in the very corner here, just kind of concentrating it. like so. It doesn't really have to be much, just a blob of dark so that we have something to work our green into. Because you'll see I have this green, but the green in our palette isn't quite dark enough, so we want to put it over black. And I'm going to be using a blending brush. This is my favorite. It's from e.l.f. It's the, the uh, professional blending eye brush. It's only a dollar. I say that in every video. <laughs> 
And I'm going to be taking this green right here. It's a really nice dark, like, foresty green with some pretty little metallics in it. And I'm just going to be, like, dabbing it right over where that black concentrated color is. And we're going to work that up into our highlight and over just a little. Alright, you're going to want to take the same brush you use for your highlight, pick up a little more color and just kind of work, the, use that to work it into the darker green. And then we're also going to do the same thing with that light blue that we used. Pulling it up and over in towards our dark green a little more. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to be taking a basic black eyeliner and I'm going to be putting a little bit of black on my outer corner on my lower lash line here. That way I can bring my green down and you can see it'll kind of meet the green on the top. But we want to give it something to stick to. There we go, just a little bit of black. Now for this I like to use that same smudger that I put the medium teal. This is the um, Sephora one, number 14. And I'm just going to be picking up some of that green on it and... apply it over the black. Then with that same brush, go back into your middle blue and your middle green that you used for this part of your lid, and we're going to be putting a tiny bit more on the bottom lash line. Now for our awesome inner corner highlight, I'm going to be using a e.l.f. The Shimmer Eyeliner Pencil. This is the taupe one, and you don't have to use this. You could just use your NYX pencil, but I just kind of like the shimmer it gives. And I'm just going to be applying this all around my inner tear duct. Now just using any flat, small, small shader brush, we are going to be using a color now by Inglot, and I'm going to be using this one down here. And this is pearl number 404, and it's just kind of like a coppery, metallic color. And unfortunately, I couldn't find anything in the 120 palette. I know there are some really good dupes of this in the Metal Mania palette, though. So if you have that, you could use that. Or you could also just use any sort of a gold. Or you might be able to mix a few of the colors from the 120 palette and make something similar to this. Don't forget about mixing. We're just going to apply this now to our inner corner. And up a little into that space that we left blank before. And sweep it down a little bit here. You're going to want to wipe off your brush now and then just use it to blend that in. And I'm going to also pick up some of our lightest blue again. Putting that over it just to kind of blend it and work it in. Of course it's not going to blend perfectly, but we want it to be somewhat in there. You don't want it to be too scary looking. So I'm going to be putting on my... Um, eyeliner on my waterline and a small liquid eyeliner stripe on my top line and my mascara and I'll be right back. <laughs> 
All right, so that is the finished look. You can see we've just got a thin line of liquid liner. We lined our waterline and we put on our mascara. Now you could add lashes to make this really, really dramatic. Okay, YouTube, that's gonna be it for my mermaid-inspired eyes. I hope you all enjoyed that. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what else I have on my face. As you can see, I did curl my hair and I used my Conair Infinity Styling Wand. I do have a video about that, so I will try and put the link in the down bar if you guys wanna check that out. It is really awesome. Like best curls ever. My hair doesn't curl with anything but that. So I use on my cheeks an e.l.f. blush and this is the color Candid Coral. I just wanted to use some nice coral colors with this because, you know, Coral Reef, Mermaid. I just thought it would be kind of fun. <laughs> and then on my lips I have a Wet n Wild lipstick and this is the color 516C. And it's just this like shiny, corally color. It's a really, really pretty, pretty color. And it is very frosty, unfortunately. So I did put over it my NYX lip gloss. And this is just the color smoky look. And it's just kind of like a peachy lip gloss to kind of matte it down a little bit. So that's basically all I did for my look. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoy the look. Let me know if you try it out. And of course, if you have any questions, just ask in the down bar. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.